Okay, we're trying this again. It is Thursday, August 24th, 5.08 a.m. Gonna try to go up and do Mount Smuts. Hopefully the smoke isn't too bad. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. Hopefully everything's good. At the trailhead, it's just before eight. I uh, kind of missed the turn onto Smith Dorian and uh, Spray Lakes from Kananaskis. I'm gonna blame it on looking at the sunrise because it was really nice. It was a little gorgeous if I do say so myself, and I do. So, yeah. I think I got everything. I need to put socks on and then my shoes. And then gotta head up the trail. There's two cars in the parking lot, which is good. Which means I may not be stranded out here. Yeah, should be good. It's a good, nice morning. Pretty cool, nice and quiet. Lots of birds. There was a, a little dusting of snow on some of the mountains around Upper Kananaskis Lake, like Mount Fox had some uh, had some dustings. So hopefully my route is good. Smuts was a little bit in the clouds though. Just the just the tippy top was in the clouds, but it looked all right. Trying out these boots again. Need to get used to the, the big boots in some capacity. Need to figure them out. I think I've just been tying them too tightly when I'm on tame stuff. I think I want it a little looser while just walking through the forest. So maybe about that. We'll see. Yeah, should be a good day. If there's a uh, ice in the the descent gully, then I'll just bash it with a rock until there's no more ice. <laughs> I will get down somehow. Gonna be in the exact same pair of uh, pants and shoes as the Mount French video. So, getting some consistency here, starting a brand. <laughs> There's a car. Is it coming to me?
Doesn't sound like it. Yeah. The, the clouds are a little foreboding. It's supposed to be partially cloudy today, mostly sunny. There wasn't really a chance of precipitation, but you know, anything can happen out here. Got a tiny, tiny drizzle. I'm driving past Baldy, so who knows? Anything can happen. It's about that tight. I'll warn you, I did have a coffee this morning, so I may be a little caffeinated. Which we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, what else do I need? Car keys, I'll put in here. Have the bag of GoPro stuff. I'm gonna be on my chest today. Whether you want to be or not. Some extra batteries and this thing in case I ever need a, a little selfie camera. What's wrong with it? What the hell? Oh, buttons. Got it. You can, yeah. Does this fit? It fits. Good. Oh, well. I'm gonna go on my chest now. So, here's what we're dealing with. Go over there. Okay, here you are. Punch you in a good place. Yeah, there we go. So we're, uh, right here. And you go over there and up and down and then back out. We are recording, so better get a move on. I have poles this time. That's crazy. Crazy. I wrote a little something on the back of the car in case like anyone's out here at 10 p.m. I don't know if you can read it. it says Mount Smuts, call for help if not out by 10 p.m. on August 24th. But we are off. We got about well, just a few kilometers until the turn off. And this is like where a shit ton of bears are. And a shit ton of bear shit is. So, you know, stay loud, I guess. I do have bear spray, which is good. It's nice to have. Yeah, well, see you in a bit. A little grouse leading the way. There he goes. It just popped out into the meadows. Looking up at birdwood and smuts, it seems like there's a bit of water. It's a little bit of water. You can see a little bit of damp rock, which isn't great. 
I'm pretty sure the clouds are gonna roll out towards the afternoon or maybe midday. And it's supposed to be around, I don't know. Every other weather app seems to tell you a different thing. One said 13 degrees, the other said 20 degrees. Couldn't tell you how much wind there is. I don't think it'll be too much, but there's no, nothing told me to turn around just yet. So keep marching on. Should hike with poles more often. These are wondrous. They are absolutely wondrous. Uh oh. No bears so far, which is good. I've been calling. No sign of the other people, wherever they may be. I thought I heard talking in the distance, but I'm 95% like sure that was my, uh, my boots squeaking. So. I may be alone. Oh. Great weather though. Perfect temperature. Nice calm morning. So there's the fist, there's smuts, there's birdwood, commonwealth, over there, still a little overcast, nothing bad. I don't see no bears. Could be good. I don't want to see no bears. Go up there for the fist. Or at least we did. If you want to climb the fist, I suggest not going that way. <laughs> it kind of sucked for a while in there. There's no trail this way, it's just kind of a general direction. And if you go from Tent Ridge, you go up Tent Ridge the clockwise direction. Just before you hit the summit on that last little push up, you can head on to the scree slope on the left and follow kind of what seems to be an animal trail kind of takes you over to those big chunky bits on the connecting ridge. Weave your way through the air a little bit and you can get up to the, the coal up there that way. And it's a lot easier than going up that avalanche path. There's a pro tip for you. We went up this way and then down the other way. Now, if I'm ever doing it again, I'm only going by Tent Ridge. All right, I just ran into a person, a real human person, which is almost a first while I'm GoProing like this. I ran into almost no one on Mount French, save for those people on the cross-country ski course, but they're too busy cross-country skiing and wearing sunglasses to talk to me. The lady I just ran into did Smutwood. Said it's kind of crap up there, pretty windy. So, yeah, you know, not the greatest of conditions and not the best sign, but Maybe it'll get better as the day goes on. I still got a ways to go. And the good thing about where I'm going, I guess, is this brewed up smuts, if you don't know, 
is a series of chimneys. You kind of go up this big staircase and then go over a rib into this big chimney. Vertical, big exposure, but you know, maybe I'll be protected from the wind a bit. The summit ridge might be a little windy, but you know, the, the descent as well is just kind of in a gully. So maybe I'll be more protected along the route than someone on Smutwood would be. Apparently there's two more ahead of me, which is good. At least there's someone. Ooh, big rock. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. Okay, starting up the ascent. Have a bit of a hill to climb, then we'll get to the Birdwood Smuts Coal. Strap on a helmet, maybe get a little snack, drink a little bit of water, it'll be good. Here we are. I have a little bit of bad news bears. Hopefully it's not serious, but on some mountains this year, I've been having a little bit of knee pain. Right now it's the uh, left IT band has been getting irritated. Started feeling it on the way up. I'm definitely gonna feel it on the way down. I knew it might be an issue going in, so hopefully it's not too major. But I don't wanna like have a season ender by going all out. Yeah. Can't be 21 and have bad knees. My dad has bad knees. <laughs> Wish I should say he has one bad knee right now. In case you are knew my dad who I of whom I hike with do a lot of mountains with we went and did a hike just a few days ago we were gonna go to Piper's Pass or Piper Pass in the Highwood got to about Edworthy Falls and he tripped over some tree and his uh, quad tendon just snapped off the bone so he's out, he's recovering, it's going to be a while till I hike with him again, which is pretty sad, but oh well, guess I can watch this video back with him though. Hi dad. Hope my knee doesn't explode like yours did, that'd kind of suck. Hopefully the wind kind of dies down. Although I think it's fine, I'd prefer it not to be there. But you can't always get what you want. And that's okay. Up and up.
hope it's nothing too bad. I can try to just like see how it is. The staircase itself isn't too committing. Also, I can just walk on a wall like this. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll try to do some stretches. Have a nice bed of soft earth to do so. Yeah, there's smuts. You hit that, uh, where is it? The gully there. That's the staircase. Eventually you'll just hop over onto the ridge. Make sure you find the right place to do so. So you don't have to do the scary ass moves that we did last time. Lucas, if you're watching this, I swear you took us up the wrong place. You crossed over too early. We had to do that scary ass slab boulder move. <laughs> Probably the hardest single move of climbing I've done on a mountain. At least committing. Oh, here we are, right at the base of it. Anyways, there should be a cairn that tells me where to cross the roof into the first chimney. Hoping my knee doesn't explode. Gonna take a little rest here though. We're about two hours in. And by we're, I mean I am. Yeah. Here we are. Let's see. We've already gone 7K. Let's see. It's our trip. We've gone 7.22 kilometers. We're an hour 51 minutes in. Gone 400 meters, 424. So we're doing pretty good, I think. It's just we have a whole mountain to climb now. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully it's not too bad. Just gotta go up. I'm glad I got brought a windbreaker and some uh, some gloves because it's a little chilly. But I'll see you in a bit. Okay, took a little break. Bags down there. I think I managed to attach the poles to the outside of the bag. It took a little little bit of ingenuity. Got a couple pieces of cheese. Had some water. Tighten the boots up a bit because we're gonna start climbing soon. Now I tested the climb on this, which is kind of just a, well, it's hopefully harder than anything I'll have to do up there. Like more technical. It's just kind of a blank slab, but shoes feel good. Doing vertical climbing moves isn't so bad on my knee. Yeah, the big stuff doesn't really feel bad. It's kind of just a little walking. And going down like this. So I found it's more so when my knee is kind of tilted out like this. This, or no, this is better. Pointing it in like this is a little worse. But I think if I scrunch down, is I might have to. Here, let's get you an angle on this. If I have to crawl like this down which is kind of how I'm probably going to do most of the down climb anyways that was probably a great view uh I don't think that really hurts the knees so that's good it does look pretty pretty fucking vertical if I do say so and I do
guess there's no harm in checking out the staircase. By the way, these gloves that I brought are a little big and also a little torn. But it should keep the, the wind off my hands and my hands off the rock. Also helmeted up, I don't know if I said that. Got my helmet on, got my my jacket on. These are all of my layers, so hopefully it doesn't get much colder than this. Once I start moving, it'll get warm too. Yeah, just gotta go up there. Here we are. Here's the start of the, the staircase. It's a bit of running water on it. Which isn't the best thing, but hopefully it's just here that water runs off and not in the descent gully. Either way, I can kind of test the waters with how slick the rock is here. Test the waters quite literally. Whew, that scree cone is a bash. <laughs> Could just be a bit of solid rock till we get to about a, another little scree thing and then see where to go from there because that's where the path will diverge since last time. We'll just try it, see how the, the slick stuff is. I'm pretty sure the descent gully, anyways. A bit of a coarser rock, a little more grippy, because this is pretty well rounded. These are good boots for climbing them. Hopefully, you have a good, good shot. Whoa. It's just kind of following ribs like this. So we cross in and get into the real fun stuff. We're getting somewhere. You know how when you're hiking or doing anything really, you get a random song stuck in your head. Not even by choice, not something that you've listened to recently, just some random song. Right now, for me, that's a walk on by the cake. So, uh, in case you're wondering what's going through my head right now, it's a uh, walk on by by cake. Try to get me through the staircase. Whew. I haven't felt any irritation in my knee so far sense about the cool, which is good. I guess the climbing movement is easier on it than the walking. Yeah. It is still up and up. Lots of up. Even the wet rock I mean, it's not ideal, it's still a little slick, but at least here it's not so bad. You can avoid it pretty easily. Yeah. Hey, I'm climbing those months. That's crazy. I'm all by myself. That's even crazier. Every time I turn the camera on, I'm a little higher. I'm at a pretty significant part right here. If you can see up, up in here. 
this all up in here is where we started to go up last time under the guidance of Lucas. I'm honestly tempted to go up this way just to check out the fucking scary ass little bit. <laughs> but I don't think that's the way in. From what I've read, there's still more up. Yeah. Oh, look, my feet. Do I dare? Do I have the time? Ah. It is almost 11. So I've been here almost three hours. I'll save it for another day, I think. I don't need to relive that moment. So for me, for this next little bit, I'm gonna have to find my own way. It's uncharted territory for yours truly. It's a lot of work going straight up a hill. <laughs> but I got more hill to go up. Fancy that. Well, see you soon. You see that up there? That is quite obviously where you go. Not pointing fingers or anything. I'm only joking. Lucas, I kid, I kid. Whew. Well, as of right now, there's no wind. It is so calm. And the sun started peeking out behind a couple clouds going well I'm a little a little hot and everything so once uh once I get up here I think it's time to maybe take the hood off take the gloves off have a little sip of water and uh, you know and get at it Whew. Yeah, there's a Karen. There's a Karen up there. I won't make the mistake that seemingly everyone makes and just go straight up the ridge. It's weird how every single trip report you read for Mount Smuts is like, oh yeah, and once you cross in the gully, cross over more than you think until you get into the chimney. And they go on to say that they didn't do that and ended up on the ridge and had to do some uh, friction moves to get over into the chimney later. You'd think you'd learn from other people's mistakes, but oh well, an adventure is an adventure, right? out there into the shit <sighs> yep. 
very familiar from videos. Okay. Oh no, snow. Oh God, I have to turn around. Actually, that looks like hail. See that? Looks like a little bit of hail, but old. Woo, here we are. Here's where you cross over. The views are great, but limited. Catch up with you in a, in a second. The funniest thing just happened. As soon as I stopped moving, it got cold. <laughs> the wind kind of picked up and just a little bit. But I'm gonna leave the gloves on for now. I can always change that. I'm gonna leave the hood off because I should be a little protected from the wind up there. Jimmies. It's kind of blowing eastwardly. They look sun. Do you see that? Do you see the sun way over there? Crazy. I had a little bit of snow. Just the just the like cold snowflakes hit me. I might get a little snow now. Just looking at the clouds it doesn't look like any bad weather to last too long. I don't think it's some sort of bad weather that I need to worry about. I saw a party of cats. you what smuts is if you don't know. My grandma in the audience. I don't know if it's uh, not smuts is one of the well there is okay I need to start. There's a book. The book is called Scrambling in the This mountain is uh, the one that I am currently on, and it says in the book, Alan Keats' book, this mountain is one of the most challenging ascents in the entire book. So for about, after reading that in Kubaya, I had to do it. I had to do it at some point. So it took me a few years of uh, getting comfortable and scrambling. I finally did this mountain in 2018, and here I am to do it again. The reason why this is uh, one of the most difficult ascents in the guide is that where I am now, till the summit, is pretty, definitely super exposed uh, chimney climbing. It's kind of low grade climbing, not so much, well, kind of high end scrambling, low end climbing. I'm just rambling. Uh, yeah, a lot of people like to bring ropes up here. I, as you can see, don't have a rope with me. I am by myself. Yeah, let's see the exposure. Get one right here. Is that a good angle? That might be a good angle. Yeah, so let's see. of that is what I'm going to be over for the next while. Um, now, whatever I need to do now, I need to figure out how to get across.
because that looks really slabby. Maybe what they mean to cross over is like down there. I don't know, I'm gonna check out some options. Because this is the part of the climb I have not been on yet. And I don't want to commit to anything that's wrong. <laughs> Maybe I may have already made the great mistake of climbing up the ridge from the thing. Who knows? It's a learning process. And we're at 38% on the GoPro. Maybe I have two more batteries. Okay. It would be easiest if I was down there. But how would I get down there? That's the question. Or maybe it's easiest from over there. stuck anywhere yet. <laughs> okay, I moved a few meters up. Exactly what I said not to do. But there looks like there's kind of a traverse over here. <laughs> looks more so cool. So let's see. A lot of the rock is solid, but there's the occasional loose bit. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. I just need to get down about two meters from here. So I can down climb this chimney a little bit. Time to find the right holds. There are plenty. Just need to be in the right position for them. Once I get into the groove, everything will be good. Great. Piece for my foot there. And I just need to go up here. I don't know what's the best angle for the GoPro. You guys are just gonna have to suffer with whatever it is. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, from there it's not so bad. Chimney's just over there. I'm just over here. All good so far. Hi. See up there? That's the chimney. <laughs> yeah, looks a little, uh, little spicy in there. But it's definitely not the one to the left, because I just, uh, I looked at this and went over to the next chimney over, thinking it would link in and I could just get in over there, but no, kind of slabbed out. 
So now I'm here. And it's time to start. Start for real. I think I'm gonna switch the GoPro battery out real quick. <sighs> If you're wondering, down there it looks like that. <laughs> no fall, no fall. My knees are not allowed to hurt anymore. I don't see that party of four anymore, so maybe they were climbing so much. Guess we'll see. Yeah, change the battery and get going. Kind of locked in now. Once I get up there, I can turn around a little more, show you what, what I'm looking at. Definitely feels like I'm climbing. first chimney on Mount Smuts. This is the longest of the chimneys and the most demanding apparently. So they say. I have a little bit of a bouldery move up here. Then a bit more. Eventually I should pop out onto this nice scree bench. I can take a little break before the other two chimneys. Huh. Whew. I remember this part being a little tricky. Yeah. Whew. Should have done some calf stretches. Can definitely feel the calves. Yeah. There you are. Not so much. The classic view down the down the ridge. Still don't see that party of four, wherever the hell they went off to. Maybe I'll make new friends. Okay, this is what I'm looking at. It is very vertical. I do remember this part being kind of tricky, so. <sighs> I remember this part being the most like technical part of the, of the chimneys. Although, I think the crux is called something else. It's time to wedge myself in here. I think. However this works. Jesus Christ. How does this work? you ever just gain the ridge like the ridge on the right 
But this is also a very tight squeeze. I'm very vertical. And my backpack is kind of small. I think what I need to do is not go into there, but kind of go over it. It's a little hard. There's a bit of a wet rock at the bottom. I don't know where, uh, where anything is. It's a problem to solve. <laughs> Seems like everything is overhanging. I don't know if you can see what. Okay, I'm kind of in. Hopefully don't scratch the GoPro lens up. Hmm. It's a little, a little tricky. I'm kind of wedged in here. Sorry. Sorry about the GoPro, sorry. I've done this before. I remember it took a little bit with some guidance. You got my leg up anywhere? No. It's a little easier without this guy backpack on. There's giant fat ass. Let me scratch down a little again. Have our work cut out for us, don't we? Huh. Let's see. Let me do some thinking. Let me do a little think thinking. Okay, I have a bit of a plan. You see this hold right here? You see this one? Right there. I think my left foot needs to go there. My right foot probably needs to be over here somewhere. And after the first move, which is pretty committing, I think it's just a little bit of a scarier part just in here until I get over. I did check out the ridge back, back the other way. You know where it is. Uh, yeah, it looks doable, but kind of pretty sketch. <laughs> and the rock quality there kind of diminishes. So I think this will be my plan of attack. Which means... Okay, can I trust this with my life? Probably. <laughs> I need to get up with my right. I'm good hands. My good hands. Find good feet. How's this? That's pretty bomber. Okay, that's pretty good. Why did I say it was pretty good right here? Okay. If I can do that and then get my left foot up to that hold I was showing you earlier, I think it'll be alright. Also kind of just wedge myself. 
of it. You know what? I'm not gonna film this. <laughs> I think it'll just take a bit of wiggling and then I'll find it. No one wants to watch that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, holy shit. I'm over the, the steepest section, I think. The hardest part, at least from what I remember. Holy shit, that was not pretty. I don't think I was the most graceful, but I got up it. Eventually I just wedged myself, came straight through the bottom. <laughs> I'm losing a lot of my finger feel in my right hand. Just from touching all the cold ass rocks. Yeah, that's climbing, baby. Whew. Oh shit. Yeah, that's kind of tough. That's not the easiest thing I've done. And I'm kind of glad I didn't get it on video because, well, then you'd have to watch that. I don't think you want to watch that. Do I keep going up here or do I cross over one? Who knows? Let me go over there. That all looks fine. The ridge crest does look a little easier though. But I won't have the safety feeling of being in a chimney. Yeah. I don't think I could down climb what I just climbed up, so pretty, well, I would have to if I needed to, but from here on out, it is easier to go up and over than down. Oh. Okay, let me check out the ridge. I think I'm right about both things. The ridge does seem a little easier to climb. And it doesn't give me the safe feeling of being in the chimney. It's a long ways down. Whew. Nice and slabby. So I think I'm almost out of the first chimney, which is good. That's not good. <laughs> okay. It holds, good holds. Thankfully these boots are like glue. So is fast. <laughs> Whew. I think we're just about there, out of the first chimney. Just in time too, I think I need some water. Weather's pretty good now. Still a little socked in, but doing good. What's this? A banana? Wow. Okay. It's almost completely mush, but you know, potassium's potassium. Mmm, yummy. Should have made a banana bread with this instead of just eating it. But here we are. Hmm. 
sog. <laughs> it is soggy. <laughs> Just chilling out before the next two chimneys. There's a nice little break place here. Hmm. How the hell did people come out there? Oh, I guess that's an. Yeah, I kind of stayed right, kind of in line with the chimney. I think you could have gone left at the kind of near the top of it, and then you pop out somewhere down there. <sighs> Yeah, well, that, that first one was a battle. <laughs> Glad to be above it, though. Hopefully, hopefully I'm glad to be above it. I don't want to have to go down that. I don't, I still don't see those people again. Mmm, banana. When I said I would change the GoPro battery before, I didn't. Probably change it here. Since I can actually, like, kind of sit down. Mmm, banana. Mmm, banana. Mm. There's a heavy cloud. I don't know if I'm going into it, but I either will or won't be. Ah, yeah, well, still alive so far. Haha. <laughs> okay, put a new battery in. Hello. Here I am, all alone on Mouse Buns. Just between the first and second chimney. Time to go. Okay, before I head up, let me just go down a little ways because I see I see a thing. It's not just another rock. Also, I I definitely heard a voice. Someone crying, perhaps. They're going, oh boo hoo hoo. So couldn't quite tell where they were. It's kind of hard to do that in the mountains, but I see a thing. Free stuff. Someone left a thing for me. Darn. I just know coming out is gonna demolish my knees. Holy shit. <laughs> That's not good. Seems like a sweater. I didn't need to bring more layers. Oh, it's wrapping something. Or it's just encased in ice. Holy shit. What is this? What is this? Well, it's a jacket, but it's been, uh, it's definitely been rained on. Quite a bit, and it's quite icy. Well, you know, maybe something in the pockets. Keys, like bike keys. Might throw this in the bag, take it down. You know. I didn't, I wasn't carrying enough yet, so <laughs> I think I'll just carry more. <laughs> Quite heavy though. All right, if anyone lost uh, this sweater on Smuts, uh, hit me up if, I'm, if I make it back down. This style of climbing doesn't really lend itself well to chest POV GoPro. <laughs> You're kind of just staring at rock, aren't you? <sighs> Here we 
here we are. This is the end of the second chimney, I think. Getting into the clouds. That was so much easier than the first one. It's crazy. <laughs> I think the crux, whatever Kane calls the crux, is like, I don't know, just here or up there. But honestly, I don't, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think. I don't remember it being too bad. But there's the third chimney. There's a big block in the middle and you can either go to the left or to the right and then back over. See what tickles my fancy. But for the time being, I need to take a piss. I need to take a big piss. Sorry to everyone that's watching, but I thought, I thought I'd let you know what's going on. <laughs> I'm seriously not sure if this is what Kane calls the crux. But it's it's literally nothing. Compared to what you've done so far, this is like I wouldn't think twice about this one section. You just walk across there. You're on quite the ledge though. Over quite Put a bit of air. I guess that's something. Maybe at some point Birdwood will say hello. Birdwood would improper grammar. Birdwood will. Anyways, this part doesn't look so bad. Uh how are you, are you situated? If I climb like this. Have my feet, yeah. Sure, let's take you on this journey. Up the third and final chimney going up smuts. There it was, there was the crux. <laughs> if you're wondering, that's what's below you. Okay, up we go. Problem is, there's a little water in here. It's a little wet. So, maybe I will go to the right. Not great over here either, but it's not so much water on slick rock here as it is just kind of dirt. You gotta pass back in. Pretty sure last time we were here we have a nice shot of Lucas. Crossing over like I am doing now. Okay. Roughly halfway up the third chimney. A little bit of slick rock. Just gotta wedge your feet in these. That 
Let's Yep. What? <laughs> the sound of my bag scraping against the, the wall. That rock's kind of loose. That rock's a little loose. I think the easiest thing the thing I've seen most is that when it gets a little thin in the third chimney, you go a little over. The ledges are a little better to stand on instead of trying to squeeze your way through. Ah. Might be a little big of a step. It's okay. I don't know if you can see any of my limbs right now. Just know that they're all doing amazing things. <laughs> If you don't like the sound of me breathing heavy, then you're watching the wrong video. All right. And that's the third chimney. Done and dusted. Whew. Great. All that's left is the rest of everything. I need to gain the, the summit ridge somehow. There's a bit more scrambling on the ridge. It's a little bit of a longer ridge than you'd think because no one talks about it. Then there's a whole down climb, which isn't down this. It's down something else, thank God. All right, let's keep going. Here I am on the summit ridge of Mount Smuts in the clouds. <laughs> Hopefully the wind isn't too bad, but look, sunshine on Smutwood. Isn't too, too much further. <sighs> until the halfway point, I guess. If the fists get sunlight, maybe we will. It's like everywhere, but right here, where I'm inside of a cloud. Wind doesn't seem too horrible though. I think it's just kind of smashing into the, what is it, the west face? Is that west? Must be. And then just carrying up loses all of its uh, power and momentum. It crashes into the side of the mountain. I could be making that completely up. Who cares? I'm on a summit ridge. <laughs> the hardest stuff is behind me, I think. As long as my knees hold out for the descent, and it's free of verglass. I think we're okay. That's good. I like it when I don't get stranded on a mountain. Ah. Yeah. 
me and my noises. <laughs> oh, I see the summit. Just over there in the clouds. I don't know. No idea if I pointed in the right direction at all, but it's just over there. It is decently calm up here for now. See if that changes. Some of the smuts for the count them second time. <laughs> Register is here. There's the memorial box. Don't know how long I'll stay, but definitely get some food in me. It's been about here, let's see. Just over five hours. Here, let me actually check. <laughs> I can check that for real though. Five hours, nine minutes. What am I doing? Yeah, just about five hours to get to the top. 1100 meters, just as it says. Here we are. Top of Smuts. Let's see if I can find my name. August 19th, 2020. So it's been about a year and a week almost. It's the 24th today of August. Oh. Whoa. The bad thing is that whatever register I signed in here is completely like <laughs> dismantled. This is just a loose piece of paper in a bag full of other loose, <laughs> loose people. I didn't, I didn't know if I'd find it, but like, I found it immediately, so there it is. Proof that I was here before. And Lucas and, and Brad. Ah, oh, Brad. Oh, you can see my fingers. <laughs> yeah, so I've got to sign the new register. And uh, make it official, I guess. French video. I also brought a nectarine up here. No, I didn't. I didn't buy a nectarine. I got a plum because the nectarines didn't seem so ripe. So I got a plum. 
hopefully hopefully it'll do in place of a nectarine. <laughs> oh go away. Just a little break in the clouds. I can almost see mountains. <laughs> Here I am. Yeah. That's so much easier one. Brad's doing this and I can just walk around the And just like that, the views are completely gone. <laughs> okay, now that I am thoroughly cold and shivering up here, I had a bite to eat, signed the register, did all the summit things, took in the amazing views. It is time to go down. But I'm going to zip my jacket up so you're gonna be like this. You're gonna see this much. You're gonna be seeing this much for the next little bit. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bring you out bring you out occasionally so you can see what's happening. I just need to get into my gully again, get out of the wind. Hopefully it's out of the wind. Huh, just gotta go way the hell down there. Cool. Here's one of the gullies you encounter on this descent. It is not the right one. <laughs> Who'd have figured the one that does not look like it goes doesn't go. I have a little bit of bad news bears. Uh, my knees hurt, kind of both of them. My left one right on the side, like the IT band and the right one kind of just on top. I did take two a leave or Advil something on top of uh, on summit so uh, you know maybe maybe it'll kick in and I'll feel brand new and my knees won't be a problem. It's not so bad when I'm crouched down like this kind of spider walk, oh, you cannot see, like this, kind of spider walking. <sighs> Crab walking, why did I say spider walk? Who says that? But just like being upright, <clears throat> kind of hurts, not gonna lie. Oh. Sorry guys, my uh, jacket is kind of right here, so peekaboo. I try my best to zip it to the bottom of the GoPro, but I don't know, doing my best. Holy shit, it opened up, what the fuck? I mean, uh, what the heck? <laughs> you can see Tent Ridge, the fist, all into the spray, uh, yeah, the spray lakes. There's Mount Shark. The connected to where I am. I am decently sure this next gully is also not it. I'm like very certain of that. I'm just gonna take my time going down because this down climb warrants it and my leg condition is not amazing. Might have to sit out the rest of the season. Spend the winter bulletproofing my knees. Yeah. I don't really want to bring the poles out quite yet. Because I mean, I'm going to be having to use my hands a lot in the gully. Yeah, that's definitely not it, by the way. You see that one? That one? Don't go. No, no, no. Um, I think no.
Ooh. Oh. I don't know why this is the year of knee issues, but I guess it is. Probably because I started the season off with running yam twice in a day. Which was about six hours and <laughs> way too much for the first thing I do in the season. This is the this is the gully. Alright, now if only I had a rope and uh knew how to repel then I could just go down this so easily with no pain. But here we are. Yeah, this one's a very obvious gully. Just about the third you see on the way down. It has a big cairn next to it. it. Has this bulgy thing. You can see a sling down there or whatever climbing term it is. There should be pitons or an anchor station somewhere bolted in here. It is very, very obviously the way down. It just kind of angles with the ridge and yeah, I'm going to do a lot of like crab walking down. Ooh. can see some mountains. Yeah, I'll see you uh, in a bit. Here we are with the money shot. Pretty sure what I'm in right now is typically what's what the down climb is going to look like. If I wasn't a crab walker enjoyer for down climbing then before, then Evan Thomas surely made me one. For some reason, everything looks so scary when you're like peering up at it like this. But then as soon as you like go way the hell down here, then everything doesn't look so bad. I think this, the movement isn't really too bad on my knees, which is good. Just hoping that if anyone uh, was behind me, they don't kick a bunch of rocks down, because that would kind of suck. I did write that in the summit register. I said, if you're behind me, Something, something rocks. Please watch your rocks or something. Be careful with your rocks. Or, I don't know. There's another uh, rusty frayed station. a bit of character to it you know there's also another one just a bolt up here pit on that's kind of what we're dealing with just going down like that it's actually not so bad you uh, can't really see much but there it is. It's just down. Just crab walk it. It'll be fine. We are looking back up. And looking down. It's actually going super fast. I know there's kind of a harder part right at the end, but I don't remember. I thought it was like harder and more strenuous than this. Famous last words, of course, but you know. <laughs> you just repeat the same movement over and over again. You kind of just get real low. Good angle. A money shot. Get real low. And just 
Not so much butt skewed as you are, just like walking down. You do that over and over again, well, you're getting somewhere. I think this might be the one part that I remember that kind of gets real ver- Is it? I have no idea. There's one part I'm looking out for, but it's like, it looks different in my head. But I'm pretty sure this is just about it. So we're almost out of the down climb. Last time, because going straight down the middle wasn't, didn't seem like uh, the greatest idea. Seemed a little slick and no holds. We went a little bit way, a little ways down it. And crossed over the rib onto over there. With his big spread eagle move and then got down on the side. But also I've seen people just cross over here. Is this it? Wow, are we almost down already? Jeez. Over so soon? It's only been like what, like six and a half hours? Not even. Six hours, just over six hours. Over so soon. It's, yeah, it's about 2.15 right now. Am I doing it the same way last time? Sure. That's fine. Why not? Because it gets real slick here and not a ton of holds. But also, what if I just it anyways. It looks fun. Okay, it doesn't look fun anymore. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I guess I'll cross over. so much easier to just go the other way. Chicken it out. Yeah, I got a fun move out of it at least. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Why is everything like sideways? over ledges here, block the entire view with my arm, and then this way, why does the GoPro keep going sideways, I'm sorry, sorry if it's doing that on the video. Yes. All right, we're off the down climb part. That was so much faster and easier than I remember it being. Oh my god! Just follow a ledge over here. Show you what the down climb looked like. It just kind of, <laughs> kind of came down there. You know, no big deal. 
man if you're not facing forward going down things then what are you even doing it is so much easier than facing the facing the wall Whew. at least for some applications oh man there's some people on smutwood so i've been hollering at them hopefully they don't they don't think i'm distressed but yeah i'm kind of off of the the climby climby parts i'm back on solid ground which means two things one them uh more safe than i was for the last few hours and my knees are gonna hurt like hell the entire way down because for some reason doing whatever i was doing with them bent all the way hurts uh it doesn't hurt which is walking down a hill does hurt explain that there's probably some biomechanical reason for for that but not quite frankly I don't know that so oh. <laughs> well now I'm gonna be all loopy because I'm off the scary stuff and you have to deal with it Aha. there's still a little bit of exposure like don't get me wrong we're not safe but I'm kind of just walking here I'm gonna pull my pull my poles out soon. Okay, I spoke a little too soon about walking. But honestly, if I fell here, I kind of deserve it. What the hell? What the hell am I doing falling now? So you just kind of go over there and just find your way down and down. Last time we took a little swim in the in the, the tarn at the bottom, but it was a sunnier day that day. It was kind of warmer than it is now. So I don't think that's happening today. Sorry, Jamie. Maybe if I was right next to the car and had a nice change of clothes and a towel and the car was preheated to 375 and I got I could just bake in there after. Maybe I'd go for a swim. But right now, maybe not. Holy shit, I just climbed Mount Smuts again. What the fuck? Not fully, but pretty much. When I was in this position three years ago, I said I probably never needed to do this mountain again. It was kind of my one and done. Like, all right, I crossed the big one off the list. Now I never have to do it again. That was scary as balls. And gotta say, uh, there's only one scary part. Well, yeah, yeah, there was one scary part. In the first chimney, when it narrows, it was really narrow and like down sloping. And I didn't really know where, what I was, what I was doing, what my plan of attack was. And you have to make some very committing moves. That was not the greatest part, but other than that, everything else went fine. I didn't feel like the exposure was affecting my climbing. And even when I got stuck like that, I wasn't super like the most calm person alive, but I wasn't panicking, so that was good. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> I just I just came to, where am I? I'm just sitting, enjoying a view. Ah, how lovely, how lovely the view. Okay, I'll turn this off, I need to get down. I don't know what it is, maybe it's the poles, maybe it's the way I've been moving, maybe it's the two Advil I took, two extra strength Advil, but uh, 
These are doing all right. You can feel them for sure, but it's not the pain that makes it hard to walk. There's two people on Smutwood. I like to believe they've just been watching me go down this uh, this scree and slab slope. It's actually been going it's been going pretty fast. I feel pretty comfortable in this sort of terrain. Especially with poles. I haven't been climbing with poles much. But damn, when you have them, you can just fly over here. You don't have to really slow down much for the for the hard part <laughs> under the street. Huh. Well, the day is a little young still, so maybe I'll. Uh, I don't want to speak too soon, depending on how I feel. But maybe Smutwood is in order. I don't think that would tag on too much. All I need to do is uh, be within cell service by 11 p.m. Because that's when I told my mom to, <laughs> if I don't text by then, go send a helicopter after me. Yeah, hopefully my <laughs> my legs keep feeling good. That'd be kind of suck if I didn't. Okay. Stop saying the most obvious things. Oh my God, birdwood! Birdwood's almost out of the clouds. Wow. Maybe climb that at some point. <laughs> I think I have to, given how aesthetic it looks and, you know, who I am. I think I'll have to climb it at some point. But it's still a little scary. I think the ridge that connects, or that goes up from this coal is like 5'4". With uh, not a lot of protection, so it's just kind of a lot of slab climbing. A bit of choss. But I mean, look at it, it's birdwood. It's the most iconic peak around these parts. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, on some slightly forgive, more forgiving ground. I think the main uh, hard part left is uh, not getting eaten by a bear. And I think I'm loud enough to scare them all away. Plus they wouldn't want to eat me anyways. I don't taste very good. <laughs> okay, see you later.
You guys like how I decked out my uh, my Nalgene? Got the Hollywood Bowl Marathon set sticker on it. Woo! King Gizzard, if you don't know who they are, look them up. Or just ask me. I'd... If you have two hours to spare, ask me. <laughs> uh. Okay, so it's about 3 p.m. right now, which means we've been climbing for about seven hours. And I need to be out of here. I need to be back at the car 10 p.m. at the very, very latest, but like, come on. I think I got a little time to spare. Maybe try some smut wood, you know? See how fast that goes. There's two people walking on the ridge on smut wood. Not the ridge, but, but yeah. Uh, they're right about there. I don't think it would take seven hours for me to climb a mountain and walk out of here. I haven't been thinking about my knees, which is a good sign. I feel like if I rest for too long though, oh, people are coming. Anyways, gotta grab a bite to eat, go up Smutwood. Okay, well I just had some water. So I met with, uh, well, not met with, but uh, talked a little about, a little bit to two people that were there. Definitely bragged just a little. Hey, come on. I just did the, the mountain that I dreamed of for like four years, but solo this time, three years later. I can be proud of it. How do you set a pace again? I'm now kind of on a clock, so I don't really need to linger. Just tag it and dip. This is why you do smut with it. <laughs> Get a nice gnarly line of what you just climbed up and then down. Huh. And there's birdwood, looking as birdwood as ever. Oh. I just passed the people that were on smutwood when I was uh, hooting and hollering at them from Smuts, they had nothing to say. So I didn't have anything to say either. On we go. Yeah, remember that uh, there's still a return journey. I shouldn't go so fast. Getting all worked up. Maybe once I make it up here, the the guai here will come down and snatch me up, take me off of Mount Doom. Beautiful. Almost at the final push up, Smutwood. It's going pretty well. Just kind of mellowing out. But the part where you can just relax, breathe, bit of a meditative state, except for when I start talking to a camera, I guess. <laughs> ah. Well, hopefully, I'm not uh, too late and worry my my poor old mother not old 
just a poor, just poor mother, mother dearest. So nice. If I remember correctly, and I should, this last little bit up Smutwood is kind of chossy. It's kind of a, just a bash. So. <laughs> and then the summit is really small and narrow. people at the coal. Looks like we're gonna have more friends on Smutwood. Everyone's out to do Smutwood. It is one of the more popular hikes in the Kananaskis. Oh. Hope you heal fast, Dad. Need you back out here. Okay. of Smutwood Peak. I learned it was actually named by Andrew Nagara. Hi Andrew. Andrew Nagara taught me jazz band in high school. One of the nicest people you'll ever meet. The two others just rounded the corner. Ooh, and a big bird. Big bird down there. Doesn't look like a raven, could be an eagle. Holy, that's a massive bird. <sighs> oh, there's uh you know it's a good day in the mountains when you Climb both your main objective and your backup objective. <laughs> At least I have some pretty decent views on this one. Oh, wow. Not of any of the tall mountains, because the, <laughs> the clouds are still kind of in the way, but you know, can't complain. Weather is perfect. What a nice little uh, bite to eat. I'm just gonna walk over the ridge to the, the other summit over here. Huh. I packed these uh, butter croissants, just the cheapest ones you can find at Superstore. Man, they don't hit like they hit when, uh, when you're <laughs> eight hours into a, a hiking day on four hours of sleep. Probably should have brought the poles, but oh, fuck it. I was also gifted these uh, honey sticks, these little plastic tubes uh, filled with honey, and they were and they're all uh, different flavors. I just had one. Oh, it's so good! It was like this uh, chocolate fudge honey. Mmm, so tasty. But uh, they really make you work for such a small amount of honey. Uh, gotta squeeze the thing with the teeth and just uh, just for a just for a, a morsel, just for a tiny pittance of honey. But it's so good though. Uh, 
I don't think there was anyone else on smuts with me today. I think I just lost sight of four people. They blended into the rocks when they did smut. Uh, hiccups. Okay, how do you get up here? Up and over, I presume. As if I haven't done enough exposed scrambling today. Just another little step. Never hurt nobody. Probably has, but I'll pretend it hasn't. And here we are. Think of this. I cannot tell which one is higher. This one looks taller from over there. That one looks taller from over here. Who cares? Two people from the coal are making their way up. Hope they're not listening to me talk to myself. Ah. Could go further, but eh. <laughs> this is good. Wow. I spent quite a while up there. I just kind of sat there for like 40 minutes. So peaceful up there. You can just sit and look at things. Very nice. Highly recommend. But we all gotta go back at some point. I need to stop my mom from <laughs> calling the rescue team to come find me. So I can't spend the rest of the day on top of the sun. As much as I would like to. I just need my knees to hold out for another uh, what, like nine kilometers. Glad I have poles. Whew. Yeah. I think it's almost five now, or almost four, almost five. Almost five. Yeah, 448. So, almost five. I'll probably be back at the car in around two and a half hours, as long as my knees are decent. I can't see it's taking more than more than that. Yeah, well, whew. good day out. These people, whoever they are, did not make it to summit. Kind of sad. I was just kind of sitting up there waiting for people to come, but they did not. Oh, there you go. And start seeing Mount Sir Douglas, Mount Robertson, a little bit of Mount French, Prairie Lookout. Of course, Birdwood, but that's a given. I almost need to delay her, but I might save that until I'm about back at the coal. Or at least back on some grass.
Glad I didn't have to put on any sunscreen today. Even if that meant overcast skies. But it gave the day good character. So, can't be mad. But also, I had no chance of getting a sunburn. to hold out. <laughs> oh, okay, as you can see by my bare arms, my bare arms, I uh, took the jacket off. <laughs> Weather's perfect right now. Also got the bear spray out, put everything away. Should be mostly good until I get back to the car. Unless I want like a little sip of water at some point. But other than that, just gotta enjoy the hike out. These poles have been doing wonders for my knees, which is good. Uh, almost makes you forget that there's a big sweater in your backpack that's... <laughs> just full of water, just absolutely soaked through, waterlogged if you may, that I found between the second, and, or the first and second chimneys on Mount Smuts. So if anyone lost a sweater there, I changed my mind, it's mine now, I'm sorry. <laughs> the thing is that it's gray and looks exactly like every other rock up there. If you left it behind, you never would have seen it again. Ah. There's just been so many people on Smutwood today, even though it's a Thursday. There should be no bears. There should be absolutely no bears. Not even a single bear. Maybe one on the drive out. That'd be nice when I'm in the safety of my car. Oh yeah, speaking of the car. You guys knows that it was, uh, it was a different car than the Mount French video? Yeah, if you were paying close attention, the, the car in the Mount French video was a 2010 Honda Civic. Not Honda Civic, Honda CRV. And the new one is the 2010 Honda CRV. It's the same car. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, the old car got rear-ended while I was inside of it. <laughs> the crash sent me into the car in front. Then I was leaking oil, so the car is no more. So we have replaced it with a new, <laughs> brand new 2010 Honda CRV. Only 212,000 kilometers on it. Brand new compared to <laughs> the old car. Huh. Wow, look at smuts. Who would climb that mountain on a day like today? Me, that's who. I would do that. And I did. Crazy. Oh. Oh. Back at the coal. Wow. 
looks pretty gnarly, I'm not gonna lie. Looks a little gnarly. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a ton of wildflowers here. And the paintbrushes are pink. I love it when the paintbrushes are pink. This is kind of the, the one big downhill. And then it's more or less flat for the, the rest of the hike out. It's about 400 meters to the coal and most of that is right at the end. Boots are a little squeaky, but <laughs> that's not new. Whoa. A little slick. Don't want to fall and snap my knee. Well, I was just walking down and uh, this fell out of a tree. A little, uh, a little bracelet. Hmm. Getting all sorts of goods today. Little goodies. Almost down back to the flat. A nice walk out. These aren't too bad. That banana, by the way, when I was having a bite to eat on top of uh, smut with, because <laughs> I keep the peel. Always pack out what you pack in. Uh, the banana peel is starting to liquefy. It was getting the juices all over the rest of everything in the food bag but clever me i uh put everything in their own little plastic bags inside of the big food bag so wasn't even an issue <sighs> these are the kind of anecdotes that uh you come here for, right? <laughs> yeah. Energy's a little low, but not too bad. I kind of want to go in the snow. I kind of want to ski down the snow because there's no tracks on it and it looks perfect to do so. Everyone else is missing it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I could get five turns in here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Here we go. A good slope.
And that's why you don't always follow the trail. Sometimes it lies to you. It says, go over here and hurt your knees a little more. When you could just go on a snow patch and not. <laughs> uh, you feel <laughs> Can you feel how tired I am through the through the video? I hope you can. Back on the flat. All right, shouldn't be long now. If you absolutely have to do the fist from uh, from this way, I'd suggest going up this avalanche gully instead of the one over there. It looks a lot more tame. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, there's a bear up there. <laughs> it's far away. Seems like a black bear. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Darby bars. I don't know if you can see that, but it is really far away. But, uh, yep, that's a bear. Oopsies. Okay, on second thought, don't go up this avalanche gully, there's bears. <laughs> or ba oh, bear singular. Aw, oh, little guy, he's so small. Being like a kilometer away from it, I'd have to wager a guess that it's a black bear. I don't see a distinctive hump on that dot way over, <laughs> way the fuck over there. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully that's the only one I see. It's a little worrying, but you know, at least it's way the hell over there. Cool. Here's something to look out for. See how the bark was pulled off this tree? That's a bear. Wait, it's just kind of V-shaped at the ends. They just grab, grab it at one point and pull it down. That, that rip didn't look super fresh. So that's a good sign. At least there's not evidence of a bear within my vicinity. I've been uh, calling quite often, being loud generally. A little, uh, little thrown off by that, that one bear. It's having such a good record of not seeing bears out, but there's one. Most of the bears we see are when we're in the car, which is good. I remember a long time ago whenever I did Cirque Peak, we saw a bear. Like across a valley. Today, the bear that I saw was pretty far away. No real danger from that one in particular. That's just one of the things you gotta deal with when you are uh, in the Canadian wilderness. It's good that we have a, a bear spray now that's not expired. So, if it comes to having to use uh, the bear spray, it will actually function instead of just being more weight I have to carry up and down the mountains. Oh, there's some really cool mushrooms over here. Whoa. Whoa. You see those? Look at those. Look at that. You see those? That's crazy. Look at that one. Mushrooms. I'll get a couple pictures. Whoa, there's, there's more. These are crazy. I love them. Getting close to the, the waterfall. 
And by close, I mean it's like literally right there. Lovely. That means we're almost back to that first highway, the Bear Alley. <laughs> That's where I need to be real loud. And my dad and I did the fist earlier this summer when we were walking down that way. Saw so much signs of bear. Today, not so much, but like that day, you know they love this area. So, gotta be loud. <sighs> it's just about three kilometers back to the car. Then a couple hours drive back to Calgary. Back in almost the same place, found more grouse. One there, see them. One in the middle of the path. There's one on the log here. Say hi. Seems like I'm eating good tonight. Little cuties. They're making funny noises. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> that didn't sound like it at all. I have really been power walking this last section. Because it's flat and I got poles. Able to propel myself over the earth with great speed. I think it's just around the corner for the car. No more bears, which is good. Yeah. Why have I not been hiking with poles? Because <laughs> we didn't have any good ones, so that's probably why. All of ours are like bent and crooked and filled with sand and water and rocks. Don't have nibs anymore. And we got these. Well, my dad got them. And they're his. But he's not using them. Oh, yay. I see a car. I see a red car. That's the color my car is. There we go. What pray tell is this? A couple of gloves and a uh, little. What is this a chalk bag? Huh. 
Okay, back to the car. That means, get it, let's go. So, can erase all this. Don't need to call for help anymore. Got spots. You can't see that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Whew. This mountain was kind of a litmus test. Today, this trip today was kind of a litmus test. I have uh, some ambitions. I want to climb Mount Edith Cavell, hopefully this year, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. It's a similar grade, different type of climbing on a different type of rock, but here it's great. I just wanted to see if I can handle the exposure on my own. I think I did pretty well. I'm alive. Whew. Okay. These are in the outside pocket attached to this red thing. There we are. Woo! Ho <laughs> ho! I'll spare your. Uh... Spare you guys having to watch me change again. Nobody, nobody wants to see that, right? Finally back in the car. And as is customary with every mountain trip, I need to read you the stats. So, two mountains, Mount Smuts and Smutwood Peak, both done solo. Uh, one of that, <laughs> one of those is more impressive than the other. Uh, 21.74 kilometers just over 11 hours i stopped the time a little late but 1109.58 and 14.30 meters ascent which isn't so much it's not a lot of ascent for doing two mountains yeah well we got a, a drive home ahead of us and by us, I mean me, <laughs> again. I got uh, a little bit of drink. So I got some bubblies, uh, Coke Zero. I got the croissant, cheese, and meat that I didn't eat from uh, my food bag. Oh yeah, and whoever's sweater I found, it also had car keys in them. But I tried it on the cars that are here and neither of them did anything, so. Hopefully, hopefully that person got their car out. <laughs> It'd suck if they didn't. <laughs> yeah, find out. Moral of the story, the moral of the whole trip is put your keys somewhere where you can't leave them on the side of a mountain. <laughs> you don't want to climb smuts twice just to grab your car keys. But you probably should if you have to. Uh, yeah. That's uh that's the day. It's 722 January 8th, 2004 on a Thursday. Uh two of those things are true. The time is true and the the day of the week is true. It is not January 8th, 2004. Uh I don't know why. I guess it was like a integer overflow sort of thing, but uh yeah. It's weird that the op or the t date of on the system of the car it predates the car itself because the car was made in 2010 but the date on the thing says 2004. I don't need to explain it to you. Anyways, I got to drive. I got to tell my family that I'm alive. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye till next time.